You know it's Vlogmas when you do a whole skincare routine to put in your Vlogmas video and then you can't export the footage. Technical difficulties always show up during Vlogmas, but alas, all is not lost. Because while I'm getting ready with you today, I will talk about my skincare routine. Kill two birds with one stone. Since I did lose the footage, or most of the footage anyway, from my previously recorded Get Ready With Me, I thought I would just pop in some of the products that I'm using on a regular basis that I think you guys might enjoy. I decided I would pop those products in while I get ready today. Today we're going to Home Goods and Michael's and... Hobby Lobby. We're doing some fun Christmas shopping today, getting some more outdoor decoration. Today we're doing a very minimal, natural a look you would have to run errands. So you'll be seeing that, but I'll also be talking about the skincare. So let's get into it. Typically when I wake up in the morning, I like to use some sort of mist or thermal water. Um, this Gucci one is a really nice one. It's a very uh, soft mist. But if I'm feeling really dehydrated, I go in with the thermal water first. And if I've used a lot of product on my face the night before, then I will definitely wash my face again in the morning. By the way, the foundation that I'm using here is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in New Caledonia. And the concealer is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie. These names, y'all. This one is a great color match, and I would tell you the color, but I can't see it because the writing is so small so i'll have to look it up i will leave it in the description box in fact i'll try to link everything on my milkshake and i'll leave my link to my milkshake on my description or in my description it just makes things easier typically i will put on either my vitamin c serum first or my hyaluronic acid serum both are from dr sturm i am still trying out the dr sturm vitamin c but the hyaluronic acid, I got the full size for darker tones. It's a bit pricey and there are other hyaluronic acids out there that are just as nice. I really just wanted to use this one because I used it before a sample and I really liked it. On mornings after I've used Retin-A, I like to use the niacinamide instead of the vitamin C because Retin-A can be very irritating. And niacinamide has a way of healing things. It's a vitamin B derivative, I do believe. So I have the Dr. Sturm for that as well. I should have also mentioned first that I typically do put something on my eyes. Right now I'm using the Lancome Genifique Yeux Serum and the actual eye cream. I use both. Very hydrating for the eyes. It is something that I have needed and have really struggled to find. And right now I am loving these two products. My favorite step is my La Mer Moisturizer. I love the La Mer Soft Cream, although I do use the actual original moisturizing cream um, when my skin is very, very dry. Here I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer um, as my setting powder. This is such a great powder, and I honestly believe your face is not done until you put powder on it, even though I know we love a dewy look. When you get older, a dewy look is wonderful, but... Setting powder just brings it all together, and the Charlotte Tilbury one is awesome. I actually need to go ahead and buy a full size because um, the little pot is going away <laughs> quickly, and I'm setting with my Charlotte Tilbury spray. I do run out of the bronzer pretty quickly. I have had the larger size in the past. The most important step in my routine is my sunscreen, and my favorite is the Summer Fridays Mineral Milk Drops or Shade Drops Mineral Milk. I do like to use a physical sunscreen because most chemical sunscreens do irritate my eyes and I honestly just prefer a physical sunscreen. 
The drawback to that is they can often leave a white cast on brown skin. The shade drops don't do that. Well, not much. It starts off kind of a little gray, but you can rub it in. They sink into the skin really nicely. It's a product I've been using for a while and I think I'm on like my third little bottle. And the little bottle actually goes a long way. So I highly recommend if you're looking for a good mineral sunscreen that is not um, irritating and especially on days when you are wearing makeup because if it does leave any type of cast, which that hasn't been my experience, it will be covered up with your makeup. It's a great product. They've done really well with formulating the mineral sunscreen to sink right into the skin. Sunscreen's the last step before I put on my makeup, so we've done this whole thing backwards, but um, I usually use the MAC Prep and Prime, and then I go in with all of the makeup product. A couple of other items I'd like to mention, I have to mention my um, mascara that I'm dating. It's the Benefit Fan Fest Mascara. I bought the small size because the salesperson recommended that I date it instead of marrying it and buying a full size and committing to it, which I love. I've been doing that with other things as well, like books. So I had to mention that. And my Youth Watery Oil from Guerlain. It's the royal oil. I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but I love this as well. It is one of those things that I can do after the hyaluronic acid, but before the moisturizer. I forgot to mention it. All of these products will be linked probably, like I said, on my milkshake, but you will be able to get to them either on the milkshake link or I will just put them in the description box. But yeah, these are staple products and things that I'm loving right now for my skin. I'm really happy with my skin right now. And that is not something that I have often said. But right now, I probably have the best skin that I've ever had since I was a teenager. And it's due to these products. So that's it. I'm all done with my makeup. I've just got to spray my setting spray on my face and, you know, make sure everything's all set. And then... I am ready, I think, to go and do some holiday shopping. By the way, this is the bedroom, the room that I need to really fix that I mentioned in yesterday's video. Don't judge me, y'all. So let's see where we are Christmas-wise, because I did not mention that in Vlogmas Day 1. Here is where we are. So... Main Christmas tree. This is the Christmas tree that is in the family room. Books, more books. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. This is the main Christmas tree. This is our main living space, the family room, which at this point, I'm sure if you've been watching this video, oh, <laughs> ran into a chair. You, you are aware of, okay? So this is this space and I got some cleaning up to do y'all. Those are all the books that I'm giving away, donating. Um, and there's some baby stuff. So this is where we are. This is the Christmas that we have so far. We've got the main Christmas tree, which I had to stop decorating because I put it's a black and pink Christmas tree because you guys know I have a pink house pretty much, which I love. Um, and so I had these pink ornaments that I bought last year and did not use. So they were perfect. I'm just going to fill this up with pink ornaments. And um, the bigger ones go on the bottom, but I found that the bigger ones don't have hooks. So um, I will pick up some today to finish this tree. Now, there may be some hooks in these boxes right here. But I don't feel like going through these boxes, y'all. I am not in the mood for these boxes. Those boxes have been sitting there for a few days. They've been looking at me. I've been looking at them. <laughs> and they looked at me. And I looked at them. <laughs> Right now, we're just in a standoff and um, 
I know that at some point I'm gonna cave because I have to, because it's my job to do the Christmas decorations. So these boxes are gonna get the best of me, but that's okay because when it's all said and done, the house will look like Christmas. Anyway, I'm headed out today to go and um, apparently the neighbors in our new neighborhood are serious about Christmas. Um, they decorate over here, okay? <laughs> and um, apparently uh, we did not get the memo because I just put my little reef out there and I was like, oh, well, that'd be cute. No, I'm, I'm going to have to go find some reindeer or something to put in my yard because uh, they don't play here. I don't know if it's a competition. I don't know what's going on, but I want in on it. So um, we're going to go find some outdoor decorations. Oh. The strap won't let me be great. Does anybody else have, like, at night, you, like, kind of, you, you sweat because we're older. We have hot flashes. We sweat. Let's just embrace it, right? Well, I don't want to embrace it, but you know what I mean. Let's call it what it is. Well, I've been getting sweat here, and now I have irritation here. And I didn't know that I had had that irritation there, and I accidentally put perfume there and wow, did it bubble up and it was crazy for a couple days. It is gone down now and it's kind of scabbed over. Um, but yeah, like a few nights ago, the sweat just pulled right there and being a woman is hard and being a woman of a certain age is even harder <laughs> because did this ever happen when you were a kid? If it did, I'm sorry. And, um, the things, the new things, every time, every day there's something new. Anyway, but we're not, we're not going to go negative here. Um, one of the other things that I want to do while I'm out, and I'll probably like hit Home Goods and um, Hobby Lobby, but um, I want to turn this space, there was a coffee machine and the tea kettle, into a hot chocolate bar, a festive Christmas hot chocolate bar, minus the dog treats, because... Nobody wants that with their chocolate, so let's move that. But yeah, I have these mugs. I have these mugs. And I have these little spoons. So cute. And I have some honey. This honey, somebody left over here. Um, Chelsea's matcha. So we definitely need to find a place for that. And then I have this little honey dispenser, which is so cute. Isn't that cute? You just push the button and the honey comes down and you have this little glass holder just in case the honey leaks. Y'all have probably already seen this. I had never seen it. I saw it and just picked it up. And then I have this honey, which is really good honey. So that's all that I have over here right now. But I was thinking like maybe hot chocolate and maybe Christmas cookies and, you know, have like marshmallows and um, peppermint um, chips or whatever. I don't know. I, I mean, I like to drink hot chocolate. I was thinking that I would do like a hot chocolate a day here on this, this vlog channel, but I think instead I'll do like weekend hot chocolate. Maybe I'll do that. Tomorrow's Saturday and then there's Sunday. Maybe I'll do a Sunday Christmas hot chocolate. The dog is really trying to get my attention, y'all. She really is. Um, but we're not even going to pan on her right now because we are not giving her negative attention. Anyway, so I want to make this space like festive and put different hot chocolates and make it cute. Um, this drawer is, I have free reign over this drawer. I have some honey um, spoons for the tea. So it'll be tea, coffee, and hot chocolate ultimately. But you know, I'm just trying to make it very festive. Right now, we have the Nespresso machine here. We have the tea kettle. Um, you know, if you wanted to do steamed milk um, in your hot chocolate, you can with the Nespresso. So you don't have to just do. And if I can find some hot chocolate Nespresso pods, that would actually be really perfect. Because I don't really do too much espresso. Anyway. So I'm going to go see if I can find some things because when you go to Home Goods, go to Home Goods, you have to go with a purpose. Like you can't just roll up into Home Goods because you'll end up with a whole bunch of stuff that you don't need, that you never wanted, 
that you're going to have in your house and probably not do anything with. So um, I need to know that that's what I'm going for. I'm looking for cool outdoor decor things. And I have a really cool idea for the outdoor decor that I might have to enlist like, you know, everybody to help me. <laughs> I don't know if this is something I can do by myself, but I think if we like just commit to it, we might be able to get it done this weekend. I'm going for that purpose, those purposes, outdoor decor, because I have enough stuff for inside. And then um, hot chocolate bar that hopefully will get used as much as it's aesthetic. One other area that's already Christmas, Christmas, <laughs> I've already put Christmas here. It is my um, console here. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I had to zoom out. It's my console here, which to me, this is incredibly cluttered right now. Um, but it's the holidays. And so, you know, and I had to incorporate a white Christmas tree of some sort because I love a white Christmas tree. And um Unfortunately, my hubby does not love a white Christmas tree and we did it one year and um, I had a beautiful white Balsam Hill Christmas tree and part of it disappeared. So um, I'm not going to say that it, it was uh, discarded on purpose, but I'm a little salty about my tree and I may have mentioned this in, in previous vlogmases, but the man does not like a white Christmas tree and um, that's fine, you know. But I guess this is our compromise. So we have this black one here. We have this white one. We have a black one in the basement that we bought the year that we wanted a black one and couldn't get this one. So we settled. Um, this one is flocked and pre-lit. It is just gorgeous. And the one downstairs is just plastic. We did. I did decorate it to the nines to make it look less plasticky. It just really was overly decorated. But this one, I mean, not that this looks like a real tree because it's black, but it's very chic. I almost want to take all of these ornaments off and do something just incredibly chic on this tree. Like, I don't know, you know, and that might not be a bad idea. We'll see. We'll see. I might do something totally different on this tree because it's such a chic tree. It really is. And it's beautiful. But this area is already Christmified, Christmasified. <laughs> um, there's the little elf. <laughs> on the shelf or hanging off of the knob. Uh, this will house, and I'm not gonna turn the lights on here because it this area is incredibly bright because those lamps are crazy. Um, but this tree lights up too. And this tree is gonna house like all of our funky like retro ornaments and the ones that look like toys. And um, I've already got a Pegasus unicorn here and the, uh, the um, gnomes, the pink gnomes, because we're still doing the pink theme, y'all, and my little pink Christmas trees, which are just adorable. Um, and I just kept some of the things that are normally here, like the, this cactus <laughs> and this plant. And then my um, dear best friend, I framed the card that she gave us for our housewarming, and it just works right here in the space. I don't even have to move it um for the holidays so yeah i think this space is good i still do have to put the rest of the ornaments on here because i have some cool funky ornaments like this little camper right here and um i'll pull those out when i decide i want to play around with those boxes so this is what we've done for christmas so far i did have the stocking holders up but i only have four and I needed five, and now I technically only need three. So, or maybe four, maybe four. Um, you know what? We'll see. We'll just see. Since I'm going to be seeing you guys every day, I thought I would do a quick outfit of the day. So I'm wearing a Calvin Klein wrap top, which is way too big for me. I probably won't be wearing it again because it makes me look bulky. And I'm also wearing some Maeve jeans, which also need to be retired because they're way too big too. Prada bag and Target shoes. They are so cute. Stand up straight. I thought, oh, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> I thought somebody say they had Easter stuff because that would be oh. cute. Be what? Right there. <laughs> <Free>. No. <laughs>
<laughs> Just this Tandy. Is, this is not a Courtney Tandy land party. No. <laughs> All right, so we are back from Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, the trifecta of Christmas stores. And I bought some stuff because I got excited. So, but first of all, I told you guys that I was going to be doing a hot chocolate bar or a coffee slash tea slash hot chocolate bar, leaning in heavily on the hot chocolate because it's the holidays. So I found this canister. I found two of these actually. These are great for marshmallows, chocolate chips, whatever I'm gonna put in them. Aren't they gorgeous? I got shortbread because you always have to have shortbread, it's Christmas. I got the Walker shortbread and it's the Christmas ones. <laughs> Another canister. I really wanted three because I like to decorate in threes, but they only had two. So we're gonna be decorating in twos. I really don't know where I'm going with this hot chocolate bar. I haven't decided whether or not I want it to be whimsical or do I want it to be sophisticated, but I know that I need a chocolate bar or hot chocolate bar that lasts beyond the holidays. So I'm leaning more towards sophisticated, but I think I'm going to build the whole thing around these canisters. I think that's, this is the direction that I'm going in. I know I don't want country farmhouse because I don't live in a country farmhouse. I don't want, um, I don't want it to be one of those rustic ones with like a lot of like signage and stuff like that. So we'll figure it out. I did get some more of these glasses. I don't know if you've ever seen my glasses, but I have these in blue and I have these in white and I found the pink ones and you know we do pink over here. So I got four of those, not gonna open them all up. By the way, these are all of the things that I got from Home Goods because I think that's where I bought the most of was Home Goods the place? Or did I buy more stuff from Happy Lobby? That's true, you didn't go with me. Hobby Lobby had, has a pretty big bag. So I got some Nespresso pods. I got Italian coffee. This one's Bella Crema. We'll see how it goes. I haven't had or used my Nespresso in almost a year. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if I like this coffee. I also got another type, so we'll see again. But I do wanna start having coffee more at home. I got one, two, three different types of hot chocolate. Boom. Wintry white hot chocolate, Santa's favorite peppermint hot cocoa mix, and um, the double chocolate cozy cocoa mix. What's the difference between cocoa and hot chocolate? Can somebody please tell me? Do you know, baby girl? Oops. She doesn't know. I don't know either, but leave me a comment and you let me know. I got these chocolate peppermint stirs. Just, I thought they were really cute, so I got those. I also got a cupcake kit. This is for something that I plan on doing later for vlogmas, we'll put that to the side. And I got the hot chocolate um, on a stick. 
I got the white chocolate with peppermint. I got the hot chocolate and I got the milk chocolate with marshmallow. Cause these are so cute. Okay. So those are the things to go in the hot chocolate cups, but I still need to decorate the hot chocolate bar. So stay tuned for that. I've decided to do a Candyland theme outside of my house and I need to make basically three columns that are on my porch. I need to make them look like they're encrusted in candy. So I have this idea, it's very ambitious. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but I picked up a few ornaments and things to go with my theme. So Home Goods have these cupcake and cashmere ornaments. This is a milkshake, y'all. How cute is that? Look at that baby girl. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? How cute is that? So I have three columns outside my house. There's some glue here. I have three columns outside my house and um, I definitely plan on incorporating these. I have three of them. And into my decor if I don't break them because that's what I'm trying to do. They also have this cupcake. Look at the cupcake, Chelsea. <laughs> they also have this cupcake, um, but they only had one. So I may put this on the toy tree. And then, y'all, I couldn't resist. It was $2.99. I had to get the little Eiffel Tower because I see a very grown and sexy Paris bedroom in my future. So there we go. All right. And I have three of these. So the third one is in here. And I think that was all for Home Goods. So pretty nice haul for Home Goods, if I do say so myself. There's now for the Hobby Lobby haul. <laughs> this thing is huge. Maybe I did get more stuff from Hobby Lobby. Or maybe it was just bigger stuff. Um, the Starbucks cup was not included. That was water. Because I don't know why Starbucks just has the best water. To go along with the Candyland thing that I'm doing outside, I feel like I really lucked out and <laughs> what's funny is these are all tangled up but these are actually <laughs> this looks so crazy but this is actually three like garlands three they're donuts you guys look at that how cute is that to put on each of the columns so right now they're all tangled up i knew that would happen when she put them in the bag i guess there was no way around it but we'll revisit these I have popcorn because, yeah, I have popcorn because you can have popcorn in Candyland, especially if it's kettle corn because that's sweet. And it's really just like everybody's favorite snack food. Of course, you know, stringing popcorn and putting it on the tree. That was a thing back in the day. So I got three of these. And then I got these two candy garlands and one, I mean, they're all, I guess, supposed to be candy, but two, well, I have this one which is just like balls. So it looks like gumdrops or just sugar balls. So that'll be, probably I'll do this one on the middle column because it's different. And then I got two of these that are like little candies, the little candy strings. So these, are go, these will go on the two end columns. Because all that been over was not the business. Okay, you guys. Way, everything was 50% off and I know that Hobby Lobby typically goes even further with their um, discounts I know that um, I know that they're probably gonna go to like 60 or 75 percent off and that's probably when I should have gone but I actually want to get this done I don't want to wait and I thought 50 percent off was good I didn't buy a, a ton of stuff from them because I'm gonna fill in where I don't have ornaments or garland I'm gonna fill in with just regular um, where I don't have, what am I trying to say? Where I don't have special ornaments or garland, I'm gonna fill in with uh, just regular ornaments. And you can buy those in bulk. And I probably have a bunch too, so we'll see. But anyway, I got these little gingerbread men and it looks like some sort of dough if that, you know, so I hope that they'll be okay in the elements that I got these. And I got like two per column because I think I bought six of each. Yeah, so it'll be two per column and I'll intersperse those. And then I also got, Cookies, I got snowflake cookies and they're all different. There's different designs. I got six of these. So again, these cookies are, I guess they're supposed to be like gingerbread cookies too, but they're also snowflakes. So I got six of those and they will go as well. And then I got three of these little like gingerbread house cookies. 
how cute are these? Like, these are so cute. And then three of these like hard candies. I know my mom used to love these <laughs> when we were growing up, little hard candies. And then, then I decided I would make my own candies. So I got six of these, you don't need a receipt. So I got six of these um, styrofoam um, discs and I'm going to make like candy that looks like, let me see if I can grab one of these. That looks kind of like these, but I'm gonna do pink ones. So something like this. I don't even see a pink one on here. This is the closest to pink as well. So candies that look like this, but I'm gonna make big ones so that I can stick them like two of each of these onto my columns. And I got some um, pink duct tape. I think that I will be somehow using these probably to put along the border here. And then I'll just paint the, oops, and I'll just paint the flat sides, but we shall see. And we picked up some signs. This one is for the coffee bar. Today is a hot cocoa kind of day. Um, so I'll probably put this up for the Christmas holiday. And then when Christmas is done, I'll take it back down. It'll be more of a Christmas decoration than a permanent. And then this sign to put somewhere outside my house, Candy Cane Lane, which is really cool. Okay. This is my second bag. I did, I guess I did get way more things at um, Hobby Lobby because I bought multiples, but different things I got more at Home Goods. Not that it really matters, does it? Okay. All right. Then I got Hubby a mug. It says, I love hot chocolate. And it's a nice big one. So when he comes back upstairs, I'll give him this. <laughs> and I got, cause I'm just gonna do pink. I'm only gonna do one color, the pink and white. So I got the puff paint and I'm hoping and praying that this paint does not disintegrate the, um, the styrofoam. If it does, then I will wrap it with this tape and then I will figure it out. But yeah, so there is that. That is everything from so that is everything from home goods and hobby lobby and i did get a couple small things from michael's but i don't see that bag aha my michael's bag i did leave it in the car so i just picked up two things from michael's well it was more than two things but two of the same things <laughs> i got these lights that look like gumdrops so we'll see how that goes and i did get some ribbon that looks like candy cane so, and there's a lot of ribbon in here. It's like 80 feet. So I'm going to try to make bows for each column at the top so that I can, um, what am I trying to say? Just to like finish off the, um, the whole, the whole candy encrusted look. So there's, also I have some <laughs> outways <laughs> because you never know when you need a curiously strong mint. Hey you guys. So I'm going to make a thumbnail for this video because... It's kind of perfect, actually, right here. And um, that's working smarter, not harder. <laughs> uh, let's see. I had to include my Altoids. This is the haul, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Thumbnail. I think I can pull this off, you guys. I still have quite a feat ahead of me trying to get these things up. And I actually have a uh template for this there's a video that i watched with raven elise and she did this a couple years ago she did something very similar and i immediately when i looked at the columns outside of my house i thought you know this would be perfect if that that whole concept would be perfect to like make it look you know candy encrusted um it's a it's a it's not it's no small task though and um <laughs> I hope that it just is not like super frustrating. Even if it's hard or if it's a lot of work, that's fine. I just don't want it to be frustrating. I want it to be still fun. You know what I mean? And I will be enlisting the help of my family. I also have <laughs> tons of these. I have these in this color, also in green and white that I got when I worked at Crate and Barrel. Gosh, maybe 12 years ago now it's been, 10 years, 12 years. Yeah, something like that. 
it's been a minute, but I have a lot of these peppermints and I normally put them on the tree, but I think they will have, they will graduate to my whole candy land, you know, encrusted, my candy encrusted columns. And I got this last year and it's potato chips. So I'll probably stick it somewhere too. I do believe this was from Anthropology, maybe, or Target. You know what? Target has a lot of candy um, ornaments and we're getting ready to go to Target because somebody's getting their vaccine. Oh my God, I forgot about Target's candy ornaments. <gasps> this will not let me be great, it will not. 